Hi friends, welcome back. Regal Smith here. Today I'm going to do a doTERRA diffuser review for you. I'm going to talk about the ones I like the best, uh, the one I like the least, how much they are, how many square footage they cover, and why you would want to diffuse. So first of all, if you're using essential oils, diffusing is one of the easiest and best ways to get the benefits. You can dose your whole family, put it on in the morning, forget about it, put it on at night to help everyone relax, and it will help to purify the air. It helps to peak the limbic system in the brain, which is part of where our emotions reside. It can help increase serotonin levels to make us feel happy, and it can also calm us down and help us sleep better. So my favorite diffuser that doTERRA has, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell my house right now. So I have uh, not all my diffusers going, but I have about four of them in this little tiny radius. Grapefruit, we have one with frankincense, uh, we have another one with a lemon, so it smells fresh in here. But my favorite of all of the Terra diffusers is the Volo diffuser. This comes in either this onyx black color or a marble, kind of like a white stone looking material. And I absolutely love this diffuser because I can adjust the mist output so I can have a little bit of mist, I can have a lot of mist, I can turn it on for one hour or up to, this says six hours. I feel like it goes most of the day for me. I usually fill it up in the morning and then again in the evening time. Uh, I can turn on, there's a little light that I can turn on down on this ring. I can make sure that light's off. It's really whisper quiet. So this is one we have by our bed. Uh, I have this one in my office, my bedroom, and my main kitchen living great room space because I like it that much. It covers a large square footage, puts out a solid mist, my friends, and you just fill it up to the water fill line and then put your lid on. And with all your diffusers, you don't wanna overfill them. If anything, you wanna underfill them because if you fill them too high, they won't put out that nice mist that we all love so much. And then um, the price of this is $59 if you're a doTERRA wholesale member and it covers 300 square feet with uh, settings for one, three, six, or 14 hours is what my cheat sheet says. And I'll have this cheat sheet for you linked below on my blog so you guys can have access to this as well. So my favorite one, I love this. If I could only pick one, it would be this one. The next one is called the Petal Diffuser. This is a really nice classic diffuser. It covers 330 square feet. It goes for either two, six, or 12 hours. It has a light that you can turn on or off. And a really unique thing about this diffuser is that it comes free if you order it uh, through your wholesale account with a free five milliliter of wild orange and a five milliliter of lavender oil. So those are great oils for relaxing with the lavender or uplifting and purifying with that wild orange. So that's a really great value. It's $47 with those two free oils. So great one to check out on your doTERRA account. The next one I have here is um, the Rome diffuser. So this is a wireless one. This is really cool. So it has a charging base and then it's a wireless diffuser that you can fill up and take on the go. So this would be great if you want to move it somewhere where you don't have an ac access to an outlet. Maybe it's a class you're teaching, maybe um, yoga class or you like having it right next to your computer while you're working or in the, the centerpiece of a table it's ultra portable so it's kind of like a stone base it's really well made it has some nice weight to it it's high quality and it took me a minute to figure out how to open this I thought you would twist it but you don't you actually pull it off it's a little tricky to pull off but you pull it off you fill it a little bit with your water your favorite oils and then you turn it on down here and it has a light that you can turn on and off. And um, one of the things I don't like about this is you have to keep it charged. So if you're like me, I'm not the best with keeping my items charged. So I feel like I can have it go for a few hours, then the charge dies and then I have to put it back on its base. So depending on how you use your diffusers, I personally, I do recommend this, but I don't recommend it as your first or even second diffuser. I would have this just as a spare diffuser, kind of for the novelty of it. It's beautiful, you can take it around, um, but it for the functionality, I like to diffuse at least twice a day and really dose the whole house. Um, so for that function, it doesn't work the best for me, but as far as carrying it around for a portability standpoint and for a design standpoint, I would recommend it. So this is called the Rome. It covers 270 square feet. Uh, it's cord-free, battery-powered when charged. 
The battery lasts up to eight hours and it is $52 as a wholesale member with doTERRA. Now, what I actually prefer a little bit more than the Rome is their pilot diffuser. So this is their other portable diffuser that is designed to be a car diffuser. But if I could only pick one of the portable diffusers, it would be the Pilot. This one is super cool and it's cute, right? Like it's nice and compact. You can put it in your cup holder in your car. Uh, I take this when I travel. I always turn it on right when I get to the hotel rooms to make sure everything smells fresh, get rid of any of the funk, especially now it's even more important than ever. Um, put it next to my bed to help me sleep. But the Pilot is one of my favorites and something super cool is it comes with this little carrying case and inside there's little spots for your oils there's the charging cord there's a charger that you can plug into your um your light adapter in the car so you can charge it through usb in your vehicle and then usb on your com computer or your phone cord or however you like to charge things so i love i love this for its portability it's easy it's small it doesn't hold a lot of water uh, but it seems to get the job done. So this is portable. It goes for four or eight hour setting is what it says on the cheat sheet. I don't know if I've ever had this go for eight hours, honestly, but it for sure would go for a few hours. Uh, it has um, a 12 month warranty. It says on here, I believe all of doTERRA's diffusers do have that, but that's what this one says. And it is $37.50. So even a little bit less expensive than the Rome um, Ultra Portable. I had to pick between the two would be this one which is a little bit unusual but uh, I love the case too so great traveling companion uh, on the go so the next diffuser I have is called the Brevi diffuser now this is a design that only comes when you start with one of the enrollment packages and it's not one you can buy separately so I don't have all the individual stats and prices but this is a good starter diffuser that comes in the package. If you have the chance to upgrade between the two packages, I would upgrade to the one that comes with the pedal diffuser just because it covers a little bit larger square footage. And I feel like you get a little bit more value. But if you have a little one, the Brevi, it's great. It's uh, one I have kind of behind my little reading nook. So it's just a little, little spot right there. It has lights you can turn on or off. Uh, it has a few different uh, light options and it will go for a couple hours. This says uh, five, two hours, five hours, or 10 with intermittent, which means it goes on and then off for five and on. Um, so it does, it does have a little bit of power, but the water reservoir is pretty small, especially compared to the much larger um, pedal diffuser. And this pedal is actually an older design, so yours is gonna come with a, a nicer base that has I'll kind of like a nicer finish on it. Now the next diffuser I have on here, the next two diffusers I do not own. I have a diffuser in every single room in my house, um, mostly the Volos because I love them that much, but there are two that I don't have yet and one is called the La Luz. So I don't know if you can see that little guy right there. This is actually beautiful. I've seen it in person. It's glass, like a frosted white glass. So it's very elegant looking if you have that type of design in your house. My house is very rustic and, and so I don't have a lot of that elegant white look. So that's the only reason I haven't really purchased it. It is going to be about the size. It's similar in size and height to this, but it's narrower and a little bit narrower, a little bit wider than this. So kind of like boop, boop. Um, so if you're looking for a beautiful, elegant design, that frosted glass, it looks beautiful in a bathroom next to a bed in a living room. It has some of the similar features. It will cover 330, 330 square feet, three ambient light settings, one, two, four, eight hours. It's a glass top and it's $37. And then the final diffuser is called the Dawn Aroma Humidifier. And it's actually a very large water reservoir humidifier that you fill with water and uh, I think more more drops of oil. I think it's 10 to 15 drops of essential oil, quite a bit of essential oils. The directions will be on that for you. But for these, I'm only putting, I don't know, around five drops of oil in these little ones. But the humidifier, I've heard great things about it. I don't have it only because we have a whole house humidifier and we do not, that comes through our whole house. So we do not need any more humidity in our house. It's right where it's supposed to be. Uh, but those of you looking to increase humidity, especially in the winter time, if you're in a dry area, this is a great one to get. You can put the oils 
on the bottom. So most diffusers, all of these that I talked about today, you're gonna to wanna to put the water in first and then your oils. That one uh, is, people are getting better results if they put a little bit of the oils on the bottom and then the water and it's dispersing the aroma a little bit better. So that is a great option to have. You don't wanna put your regular essential oils in a regular diffuser. This is designed, or, or in a regular humidifier rather. This is a humidifier designed for essential oils. If you put your essential oils in a regular humidifier, it can damage the plastics in that humidifier. So this is the best of both worlds. You get your diffuser and your humidifier. So here's a little picture of what that looks like. It's called the Dawn and it's, it's pretty decent size. And that covers 270 square feet. It has a 1.8 liter water capacity. It'll run for seven, 12 or 22 hours. And that is $48. So let me know below what your favorite doTERRA diffuser is. And if you're like me, it's the Volo, but you know, there's lots of options out there. They're all great. Most important thing is that you're using your diffuser and you're getting the benefits. I'll have this cheat sheet on my blog along with a, a link below for it and how to clean your diffusers because it's important to keep them clean so they're working properly. And I will be back with the next video. So let me know how you like your diffusers and we will see you next time. Thanks everyone.